Okay. Well, that would explain a lot. Whether they, I, I don't even know whether they count, but let's see. There should still be a. Oh, they're not life. No right. Um. Well then. That's one of the hideouts, at least. Taking the airfield means that I will then have taken their absolute last airfield. Um, that actually might be quite useful to do. They are dead. Next. I need to reveal them if I want to do any kind of damage. Go in here. All, right, all of these are at least really weak right now. So I said, uh, I know they don't, don't get any supply in those areas, but Is there any? There is, okay. <laughs> Let's just do that then. Okay. Um. There are more areas than that. Let's. I need to kill these first. Uh, 
Let's go here. Okay. And then I am going to send a recon out into these woods up here. They might be here, here, or here. I really have no clue. It's probably a good idea to uh, make sure that we can find them. run on them so let's move you back I also probably don't need those uh, guys specifically anymore me to move up go in there Let's move you out. Double attack. Kill them. I mean, uh, I do need to get 100% score, so I need to to kill everything. Mm, now I can move the recon into this side. So I have better vision. Oh, you already attacked? Okay. Do I have any core units? If I do that, they can get some experience. Move you up. Recon this way. I'm gonna use the AA to take that. <clears throat> okay, so can safely move here. Bam, bam.
That leaves only the infantry in that area. You'll be getting supplies there, I think. I can barely imagine that not being the case. There we go. Let's just overrun them for now. That leaves me... Space... Move you in here, are you... Okay, let's do it like this. Move you here, you up. Now at this point... Completely forgetting that infantry. Rather silly, really. Found a base, all weather, I think. Go for tactical retreats. Bam. No more ammo. I would go there, but uh, I don't have any fuel and or ammunition. Now, all right, I should also be able to kill these. The uh, important thing about that, by the way, is that it allows me to push supplies further up over here as well, which I also want. Uh, like I said, I don't know where those uh, hideouts are, so I just rather have to keep looking, but... Mm. Seems like this is pretty far indeed out of my reach. Right, so they do actually still have fighters, etc. Now, I think they still have an AA there that has not used up all of its ammo yet. But even if it's this, one, two, three, four, five.
could technically always land in there. I probably will need to do that. So I better not lose it. Yeah, they have a, an, an AA there, all right. All right. Um, kill you. Uh, landing at that airfield gives them no supplies. Uh, for now. <laughs> But uh, it will at some point. Move you in here. Two, one. And night is going to be the last turn then. That still puts me at quite a bit of pressure. So, um, I do need to make the best of it. It's a shame that they are alive. Um, now, if I cannot reach this with those units, they have mm, no real business being there. So, like for them, might just as well move to the city. One, two, three, four, five. Even they, they cannot cannot reach this. Um, but they can on the night turn. So I think uh, that then. Uh, They probably still should. I'm gonna get them up because I want the tank to move in here so they can attack there on the next turn. Mm, yeah, you have to stay there for now. Uh, with regards to all three of these, I'll just leave them there because uh, they can be pretty useful in a little bit. All of these guys can go to that airfield and... Uh, I would make use of that. I definitely would. It's a 
should have uh, used that in a different order there. Oh, but they didn't die. Well, uh, that's in a way good for me then. Really don't want to leave anything behind at this point. Okay, so let's start with an AA attack, and of course they hit to the place where they cannot be attacked, so be it. because they can land in there. can go in there, attack. I'd rather attack these that way. Because the... Well, do you have overrun? No, you're... Yeah, I have to constantly check which one does and which one doesn't have overrun. Um, you can take that on the next turn. Because these guys can actually go up, I'm inclined. Just view doesn't reveal anything. I don't think they have any place where they can be useful anymore. You need to take that. So...
That kills them. I need specifically them to die to Let's move you in there. So now they are dead. Move them up. So now they are dead and this gets supply. Which means my air forces can now land. Even these are probably in my best interest to land them now. Another problem is that I have to move uh, past this in order to move up. And they are kind of in the way. That's a one down.
They're probably there. Uh, and that probably means that I will not be able to spot them. I don't um, think something like that actually works. Where can I deploy units, by the way? One thing I could... No. No, oh, never mind. Just put these guys in there just in case. That has them killed, but also allows me... Move you... Overrun, overrun, it doesn't kill these, unfortunately. this Take that, move in there.
I'll, uh, I'll kill those guys on the next turn. No line of fire. Start with that. Uh, and just land again. There we go. Now with something like that. That's out of ammo. It's a real shame they moved because uh, now I can no longer attack them. Still have this uh, this here recon though. The defenders of Leningrad have been crushed. We were handed the keys to the castle that the whole world thought was impregnable. Except we weren't handed anything. The Russians preferred to be slaughtered to a man. Their tenacity is becoming bothersome. And this is only the beginning. A magnificent victory, Halda! The operation was conducted so perfectly, it was as if you've glimpsed some military insight from my own head. However, aside from the ports, Leningrad poses no strategic importance to us. I refuse to feed its two million citizenry through the entire winter. In the coming days, the Luftwaffe will bomb the city off the face of the earth. Order the troops to collect trophies and supplies, and be on standby as our eastward advance continues. Okay. Ah, what? Now I can no longer attack. Well...
I'm, uh, I'm quite sure giving them something like uh, Scout Scar does indeed not help, I think. But... If, um, The Leningrad situation is turning into a siege, which is a very disturbing development. Operation Barbarossa does not provide for a protracted engagement, and it may inhibit our future campaign against the USSR. You have 24 hours to storm the city and capture it. I will expect your report first thing tomorrow. All right, let's uh, attack. Kill them, take this, kill them. All right, there we have it. Sincerely hope that I can kill it. We've located all the hidden partisan bases. This will send a message to everyone that no one can shoot our soldiers in the back and remain unpunished. All right, that's it. Grand Cross of the Order of Grand Cross of the Order of the Cross of Liberty. Who comes up with these names? Like I'm the Order of the Cross of Liberty, and you got their Grand Cross. Okay, well, Republic of Finland and. Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with oak leaves and swords. What the hell is going on here? Put down your weapons at once. Sturmschaffer, explain yourself. Nothing special. We carry out the death sentence. I forbid your men to murder anyone. 
I will not allow the SS units to run rampant, killing civilians. Are you sure you have the authority to forbid us anything, General? SS soldiers answer only to our immediate superiors. As you were, Sturmschaffer. If your men will fire, then my soldiers will have to take action as well. Have no doubt. You can be in a lot of trouble due to your interference. We act upon the orders from our High Command in Berlin. I have never heard of such orders. Our High Command would have never sanctioned such despicable actions. I am sure, as soon as Führer learns of these atrocities, he will immediately arrest all those involved. No. If it were up to me, I would have already court-martialed you for war crimes! Your no. confidence may bring you ill fortune, General. My Führer, and last but not least, I would like to inform you about the criminal activity of our SS troops. Erwin, I know you have been in charge of our troops in Africa, and now the war demanded your presence in Russia. Yet you have started to think an awful lot about yourself, Rommel. It is otherwise inexplicable how a fine officer such as you could have violated discipline on the front lines. I cannot allow such disregard for subordination. My Führer, as an officer and a man of honor, I could not allow... SS troops were totally justified in their actions. They followed the directives issued by their Reichsführer SS Himmler himself. I personally sanctioned these actions. But how... My Führer, how could you cover up for such insidious crimes? We are building the Third Reich, Rommel! Our task is to create a bright future for the whole German nation! We cannot endanger our sacred mission by showing pity to our enemies! For the sake of our great goal, I am ready to sacrifice millions! This will be a noble sacrifice, as it is preordained by the higher powers! Anyone standing in my path will suffer just punishment! Herr Hitler, I have heard some rumors about the SS actions on the front lines. I must admit, I refused to believe these scary stories for quite a while, thinking it was a lie. Yet your words... They are breaking my heart. This is not the Third Reich I have imagined! Silence, Rommel! I will not tolerate people questioning our only true path around me! Are you going to defy the Reich and its Fuhrer? If you ever disobey my direct order again, you will be court-martialed and executed! Now get out of my sight! Ouch. That was to be expected after all. Uh, let's just pretend that he didn't know anything about these atrocious crimes. Anyway, I always found this top weird. I mean, even if we capture Leningrad, why wouldn't it just, like, you know, stop at the Sphere River and leave this, this for the Soviets? It's make no sense. This naval operations here is just so weird. I mean... Anyway... We do get a, a bunch of uh, bonuses here. Um, Goering's favor. By fulfilling Reich Marshal's Goering's personal requests, you gain his favor. It will increase as you fulfill more of his requests. All units are 6% cheaper. Kronstadt has fallen. Make a maritime supply possible. Gain plus 5% for all future operations. Next one will be the first Battle of Kiev. Major land battle. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap things up. I want to thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Special shout out to my Patreon supporters, Boomer Out, Dungeon Pastor, C Data, Swordsman, Ningo, Tom Slotchlin, and Pooch. Take care, everyone. See you next time. Bye bye.